Good evening. We've got a great show lined up for you tonight. We've got a whole slew of interesting guests, some special fun segments, a few fantasies fulfilled, and uh, most of all, there's a little something here for everyone. This show is the real thing, not some cheap imitation. You'll be seeing more of me, too, later on, and hopefully as a regular on this show for some extra work in the long run. And speaking of long runs, friends, that's what we're looking at with this new show. It won't be just some cheap flash in the pan. No, it's called Under the Sun. It's Arizona's own and Arizona's only. So Art Farron here telling you to stay awake and stay tuned. At the end of this ride is the dream of a lifetime, folks, for Randy Mossberg of Phoenix. She's our lucky lady this week, as you'll see in just a moment. Hi, everyone. Welcome. I'm Jan Diatri. And I can't think of a better time or place or reason to be with Randy than tonight on our fantasy segment when we make her dream come true. Then watch what happens when America's number one trick shot golf artist, our own Peter Longo, gets a little crazy on the green. He's out at Phoenix Country Club. And is this by chance? someone you recognize? Well, probably not, at least not yet anyway. He's the Valley's own Jim Malmberg, and he's on his way to beautiful downtown Burbank and a chance to appear on Star Search with Ed McMahon. And if you think that's good, stick around. Because coming up later, we'll find out why you picked this woman to be our special person of the week. And one of the Valley's best-kept secrets, 82-year-old inventor Austin Elmore opens his private workshop doors just for us to reveal a lifetime of inventions like the carburetor, mixmaster, and more than 120 other brainstorms under the sun. Well, that's the name of our show. It's all about you, and we have a lot more coming your way, so don't miss a single moment. And now it's time to make dreams come true. As you know, each week we fulfill a fantasy. And boy, have we been to some crazy places. But this week we didn't have to travel very far to watch a young woman reach for the stars and then capture one for her very own. At the end of the hallway at Channel 3, you'll find Randy Mossberg. She's the program coordinator and assistant to the station manager here. She's also living proof that good things come to those who wait and wait and wait. I've been in touch with the JCs from time to time. I've done a few jobs for them, and they knew how I really wanted to do this, and they've stood behind me, and they've kind of carried me along for a couple of years. I got a phone call uh, from the JCs, and they said, Randy, this is your year. You are going to open the rodeo. And I, I just couldn't believe it. I was so excited. I called the band. I called everybody, screaming and yelling into the phone. It was just great. I love country music, and every year before the rodeo starts, they have a pre-show, and some band comes along, and they sing five or six numbers, and it's just great. And I always thought to myself, I can do that. I want to do that. So ever since I was a little bitty teeny girl, I wanted to open the rodeo. That is my fantasy. <laughs> it's going to happen. It is going to happen. Now, we had to give Randy a lot of credit. I mean, fantasy or not, she still had a job to do, and she really tried to concentrate on it. It lasted about three seconds. Who can think about typing, well, I'm going to open the rodeo! Oh, my God! Oh, that's all I can think about. Rodeo, rodeo. We're all far out there, rodeo. Ride him, cowboy. <laughs> it seemed to take forever, but finally the big day came. The time to lasso a dream was less than an hour away. And for Randy, there was no better way to share it all than with her best friends, the Cahoots Band, toasting the fantasy of a lifetime and driving to the rodeo of rodeos in style. No fuss, no muss. Here we go. I wonder if there'll be a big crowd tonight. Oh, no. yeah. All my relatives are coming. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's going to be interesting to find out what feeling is actually going to come over me when I step out on that stage. Because by now I don't feel real, I don't feel horrified. I feel a little bit nervous, but I don't feel like I'm going to faint or anything. But you never know. <laughs> That's my worst fear of getting up there and fainting on stage. How embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is it. There's the Coliseum. <laughs> Ready to sing one? Let's sing one. A tune. Well, I'm back in the, the saddle, saddle again. Out where a friend is 
a friend. friend. Could have gone it on tune here, guys. <laughs> one, two, <laughs> one, two, three. I'm back, back in, in the saddle, saddle again. again. Out where a friend is a friend. Where the long horn cattle feed on the lonely gypsum weed. Back in the saddle again. Riding the range for a score. Toting my old 44. Well, here we are. The calls on the saddle. Woo, we are. Here's Tom carrying my guitar case for the first time in his life. I always have to carry it, but today I am a star. Good size, huh? Okay, when I dream, I dream big. <laughs> I don't mess around, uh uh. When I have a fantasy, I have a fantasy. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to welcome you to the 55th annual Phoenix JC Rodeo of Rodeos. It just gets in your blood, you know, and you just crave it after a while, and I have to have it. I love music. It's a part of me. It's a part of my life. I live it. I breathe it. it I am music. It's, you know, that's it. Thank you very much. You know, ever since I was a little girl, I've been coming to the rodeo, and I have always wanted to be able to sing and perform. So this is a dream, a fantasy for me, and thank you for sharing it. fantasy hey you've got to go into another one <laughs> i don't know what it's going to be yet but it's going to be good 